How's it going, Clarksville Guns and Archery? YouTube land, everyone else that comes in. Today I've got a very special video for you, at least I think it's special. As some of you might know, uh, one of my favorite manufacturers is Beretta, um, and today we have a little bit of a, a freeway, if you will. Um, as we all know, um, Beretta has been around since 1526, and they've been making firearms since then, the family, for very long. Um, fast forward a few hundred years, uh, we eventually came to the Beretta 92 that most of you know. Most of you know this from movies, video games, some of you that are in the military know about the M9. All that accumulated to what we're gonna talk about today. Um, so the three I have before you are the M9A3, the 92X, and the 92X Performance. Um, we'll just kind of go down the line. I'll try to be as fast as I can to kind of give you guys an idea of the differences. Starting with the M9A3, I'm gonna make sure it's clear, which it is. Something they did uh, on the M9A3 is they actually took off the original grip and gave you a more streamlined grip. This feels much more like a 1911 style grip. So those of you that like the more slim frame from a 1911 or like a Smith & Wesson M&P will appreciate that grip a little bit more than the little bit of a hump that the original Berettas had. What's good about this is that all these firearms come with a, a wraparound replacement piece that you can actually put on these grips and it gives you that original Beretta grip. So if you like the original style, you can keep it. Um, as far as the magazine, since I've already got that out, they went ahead and gave you a sand resistant magazine on the M9A3s, and they also gave you 17 rounds instead of 15, which is very much a plus. Going down the back here, um, if I had a normal 92, I'd kind of show what I'm talking about in this part, but I can kind of just zoom in on the, on the safety lever there. The safety lever slash decocker has been changed a little bit. It's a little bit easier to actuate my right hand, I can more easily get up and hit that than it is on the originals where you really have to stretch that thumb up. It's kind of angled down just a little bit where I can hit a little bit easier. This particular one is a G model. Um, the G is part of a French word, which I'm not even gonna try to pronounce, but the French actually requested this particular type of safety, so it's not really a safety, it's a decocker. Um, this has become more and more popular with more Beretta firearms, so that I can just decock it and it's good to go. They did increase the trigger as well. Um, I'm not gonna get specifics on the poundage, but it's a very nice double action pull, very smooth. Doesn't feel like I'm breaking my wrist trying to do it. And of course, when it does transact into a single action, it's a very nice, probably four pound trigger on that. Um, very combat oriented still. It's not the greatest trigger ever, but it's a lot smoother than the older ones. Next. They went ahead and gave you night sights that are dovetailed. So if you want one of night sights in your Beretta, hey, you've got it now. If you didn't like these sights and wanted to go something else, you could actually move this out. Uh, as we all know, the original Berettas, you couldn't change that front sight. So that's something nice that they did for a change. Moving down to the dust cover, they gave you a picket full Picatinny rail. They also changed the trigger guard a little bit. They made it more flat and for those of you that ever saw our emissary video, the flat trigger guard's a good thing because when I put lights and lasers on it, it's easier to actuate with my finger than having a rounded uh, trigger guard. It may not look as aesthetically pleasing, but it's more useful that way. Finally, they do give you a thread of barrel. So if I want to pay, put a suppressor or a compensator of some kind, I can easily do that here. This particular model is an FDE, but they do also make a black one as well. Going on down, we're gonna talk about the 92X next. The 92X, I'll go ahead and drop this mag and clear as well, and as soon as we clear, it's kind of a conglomeration of what people liked about the M9A3, but they wanted a, more of a plain Jane Beretta with this. So what you're getting is you're getting an 18 round mag. It's gonna be slickened up so it's gonna be easier to get in and out of the, of the firearm. Same grip, uh, slightly different trigger and hammer. It's, a, it's, it's nicer than a standard Beretta, but it's not quite as good as the, as the M9A3. Uh, as far as the safety goes, it's essentially the same as a normal Beretta. I mean, so safe, and then you have to take it off to put on double action. What they changed about this one is they gave you the Vertex slide, which comes on the M9A3. So what that amounts to is it's a little bit of a slimmer slide. It's not quite as thick. Um, it shaves off weight a little bit. Also, it gives you a place for front cocking serrations if you like doing press checks, which you know some of you out there saying this is, why would you do this? There's people that do it, and there's no people that do it that warrants that, so that's why they put it on there. Um, as going down the sights, what I really like about this model is they gave you a two-dot system. Uh, some people don't like that. I personally do because I feel like it's a faster uh, 
shot placement. I can get my shot, my sights up faster. I don't have to focus as much, and I'm not worrying about the rear sight as much as I'm the front sight. The other thing about this particular one that just came out is they actually made it red dot ready. So these are coming out ready for optics now, which is something I think is a bonus. I'd like to see them do more and more of this, um, because even if you didn't want to use it, you still could run it like a standard Beretta, or you could put a red dot on it if you wanted. David, do you know if it comes with optic plates in the box or no? Um, it does. I don't know, actually. I didn't actually look in the box this morning. So that's something we'd have to find out. I, I don't believe it does, but... I don't. I didn't see any, but that doesn't... It could have been under the phone. I don't yeah. think they do, but don't quote me on that. If it does, we'll, we'll put it on this video for you. Yes, sir. And the last thing that's come on, I want to point out, and I'll open this up so we're no, I'm not pointing a loaded gun at the cameraman, is the way the barrel is. So if you notice there, it's crowned. It's giving a nice little outer protection against the inner barrel. So if you did were to drop this thing or scuff it or whatever, it's not going to hurt your rifle inside the barrel. So I think that's a very nice touch as well. So that's the 92X. And we'll kind of move on to the bell of the ball here. Now that one does not have a threaded barrel, correct? It does not. It does not. Um, one thing I want to say, though, is you can get threaded barrels for Berettas fairly easily. Um, they just usually don't come all, all standard with the models. So, as I said, bell of the ball. Probably my favorite one out of three of these right now. This is going to be the 92X Performance. I'll go ahead and make this one clear for you. So we all know, I'm not pointing a little gun at anybody. So why is this my favorite? Well, first off, let's talk about the one big negative. This thing is 47 ounces. This is a, this is a chunky boy. Um, you, this is not a carry gun, guys. This is not something that you're gonna wanna carry or potentially use as a combat gun. What it is, however, is a house gun. And more importantly, it's a range gun. This gun was designed to be a competition piece. And with that weight, you can definitely tell why. Um, Starting out, they send you a 15 round magazine. Um, not quite sure why they did it unless that's a competition reg, but I mean, that's what they did. The grip, much like the 92X and the M9A3 is a more streamlined grip. This one's a little bit slick on the sides, but it's very grippy on the front. And just like with the other two models, it does come with an overlaying that you can put on to have the original grip if you so choose. A couple things you're gonna find different here. One, the safety. This is an actual single action gun. So I push down on this, trigger goes bang, it does not decock. For those of you that are into Beretta history, um, you'll know this is an old design. This is actually one of the original designs that Beretta had. Um, and I'm kind of glad to see them go back to that style, if for no other reason other than just solidifies the fact that it is made for competition. They give you a really nice hammer and trigger. In fact, let's go ahead and talk about that. Um, let's go ahead and pull this trigger together. When I say this thing is buttery smooth, I'm not joking. Um, this very well might be an 11 pound trigger, but it doesn't feel like it. Uh, it feels almost like a six pound. Um, as far as the single action goes, it's not the best single action trigger out there, but that's probably a good three, three and a half pound trigger on that. So definitely good enough for, for a competition. What they, the part of the weight comes in as is this nice thick Brigadier slide. And you kind of notice how it comes up there and I'll kind of show the top. The Brigadier slide was originally made for the 40 caliber uh, to increase the weight of the firearm to help keep it from essentially coming apart on you. That's something Beretta designed uh, back in the 90s. Um, a lot of people like these on nines because of the added weight, it really does help with keeping your firearm on target. Um, that's both a good and bad thing. Again, it's competition. The competition weight's a good thing. Um, the next thing is I really, really like these sights. Kind of zoom in on these. They give you a fiber optic front and a blacked out rear, but if you notice, the rear sight hangs off a little bit. Um, some people don't like that very visually. What that does is it gives you a longer sight radius. Again, keeping in mind that this is a competition piece slash range toy, longer sight radius is always a benefit. You're never, you're never not gonna want that. When we go down here to the trigger guard, it is rounded. Uh, it's not quite as flat, but it is round. Um, same thing with like the 9A3, you can put lights, lasers, whatever you want on the bottom of it and it's still fairly easy, easy to actuate with your finger. Maybe not quite as easy as the A3, but easy enough. Um, next, the takedown lever is oversized, so this thing comes apart very easily. I won't take it apart on, on video, but just something to be aware of. The other thing I like about this is, again, if you're a competition shooter, you know exactly what I'm ready to say. Gas pedal, gas pedal. I can keep this thing on target hard 
by pushing out with my thumbs and I'm going to stay on target with it. So that is a huge bonus in my opinion. Um, other than that, I, there's, there you've got it. That's all the, the benefits of this gun. Um, you guys really need to come check these things out if you haven't already. If you're into Berettas at all, all three of these are like wonderful additions to your, uh, to your collection as well as good shooters. Hey Dave, just real quick, let's kind of go over what these guns sell for. So that's something um, you'll you'll kind of see fluctuate a little bit as with everything. Um, the 92X runs roughly 800-850 MSRP. The M9A3, you're roughly between nine to a thousand in that in that range. The 92X is where you're going to feel the most pain. Um, you're looking at about 1599 to 1699 in that range. That's that's MSRP. Of course, street price is always going to be a little bit cheaper, but um, just understand you are getting what you pay for with these guns. So the extra money isn't just being wasted on cool looks. You actually are getting a huge benefit from them. So, all right, guys, this is our video. Uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. Uh, thank you, and have a great day.